This is what it looks like with more sunlight to show through. I weld it on this piece here to screw in a water arrester here. And it works great. Got that little downhill going because I just wanted any water that gets up there to drain back into the pipe. It actually shut off and it didn't make a sound. Alright, I shoved this in the pipe. Just get away the banging. This is where I removed the pipe from there because it was hitting against this vent because the water hammer was setting it off. I was hoping all I had to do is put in some more wood blocks and stuff because this seemed like the loosest point right here but that did not work I got three minutes worth of battery left but what you're going to hear is when that sprinkler valve shuts off it's controlling the speakers outside a giant thud will go through this pipe and that's that water pressure coming from the main slamming into where that valve got shut off. What we're going to do is install a hammer arrester. We'll talk about that later right now. We're just trying to record the thud. Like I said, three minutes of battery, six minutes till the sprinkler shut off and the thud goes off. I should just shut them off early, huh? But I shoved my wash mitt in there to hope that would work. It did not work. I bought a water hammer arrester. It was a pressure controlled pipe. It makes the water go somewhere else under pressure. And it relieves the pressure in the line. And we're going to try that. See how much of the thud it gets away. But you heard a thud. The next zone on the sprinkler system is even a louder thud. We're going to try to get rid of that with a water hammer arrester. And those thuds are going to cause these pipes just to blow themselves apart sooner or later. I'm trying to get this to fit. There you are. <laughs> it's going to go right in there. It's got screw in threads. Going to solder it in on the ends. Just cutting out a piece of pipe in the middle so I can put this in there and fit that in there. I'm going to point it up a little. And what's going in there, they call it a Hydra Rester. There's a water here. Comes from those people there. I was just at a show home where it had one of these installed on there. I heard some things about that before I just go in to finish my cutting and start welding and sanding and stuff. They say the closer these are to your valve, the better off you are. To the inlet or the outlet. So on the other side, where your water comes into this pipe, the closer you are to there. From the video I watched on YouTube, the closer he was to the inlet pipe, the pipe still shook, but they didn't make a noise. The closer he was to the valves, the pipes barely shook at all and didn't make a noise. Now I saw somewhere where they actually hooked these in with the valves on the outside into that plastic pipe and it was just screwed into the plastic pipe. Now I can't see leaving mine outside with as cold as it gets around here. It's just I can't see that this part, you can see in there, isn't just going to freeze if there's any bit of water sitting in there. But its job is to go up there, it hits some kind of diaphragm, and it shuts down the noise, it disperses. Well, we'll see what it does if it works. They say it's supposed to, uh, oh, cool, that moves. I'm glad that moves. Ah, oh, come on. T 
just a little bit tight on the cut there. Oh, they say it's supposed to snow on Sunday, Saturday, Thursday, Thursday, a couple days away. What's today? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It was only supposed to snow on Monday, later on, a whole week away. But that didn't work out. So we're trying to rush and get some of these things fixed up. Puts my whole total list way behind. But I'm going to work on it. So I'm doing stuff right now. If this would have just slid right in there, it would have been great. Oh, there we go. I'll point that up where it doesn't go too far. That'll work great. This way it still has some downhill in it. Inside it's not going to freeze. I didn't bring a lighter. Alright, I'm pretty sure buying some lighters is on the total list because this is the last one I've got. And give it a little time to cool down hopefully it doesn't leak and if it does I got the bucket there and I still have some solder left I was this close to not putting this on and opening up the water to see if there was gonna be a leak water would have just come gushing out of that thing I turned off the valves outside so the water has something to stack up against. Let's see. Oh, did you still hear the thud? That's not good. But it wasn't as loud as it's been. And it's supposed to be on how fast a valve turns off. It causes that. Now the other plan would be if I have to do another one I'm going to put it on the inlet side where the water comes into these pipes all the way back over there. Oh. About 20 feet that way. But I don't have a leak. You guys need to Stay tuned to see how much of a noise it makes. I'm going to put a screw in there. Looks like it had a hammer. And actually turn on the sprinklers and let them shut off because it makes a worse noise when it shuts off. Hopefully the camera's not going to get wet. Turned off the water inside. I'm going to open up both of these. Gonna move to this part down here. And we're gonna take out the valves. And buried under the dirt under there will be a little hose picket valve to get the water out of this line. So I have not drained or blown out my sprinkler system in years. Over at my dad's house you must blow out the sprinkler system because if you don't it will freeze. But over here I'm just going to take all the parts apart, put them in the sandwich bag,
and um, kind of leave these valves open so the water runs through those. You know, it's always a risk. I'm going to take both of these off because these backflow preventers are very expensive. Alright, so I got both of these. Let me drop them in the bag. We're going to go dig for this. And there it is. Can you see it? Right here is the low hose valve. I'm just going to open that up. All the water from here on up to here, up to there, will drain. Because these are open, all the water is going to drain there. All the water is going to drain here down to the inside. We're going to go back downstairs after that, take out the caps. Someday when I want to try harder, I'll fill this with rocks underneath here. Dig this out and put some rocks underneath there. That way I won't have to dig out everything next time. And I just want to make sure it's getting wet down there. You brought a shovel, eh? I was always impressed when you open these sprinkler boxes and you see a whole bunch of rocks underneath there with some space. There, I finally found the end of it. Uh, so I make sure there's some air getting underneath that so the dirt isn't holding all the water in. For the sprinkler clock, I'm just going to pull its plug. The whole time that water was running, this cap was in my pocket. First. A little turn. back all that water pressure. All right, I'm going to let this drain. I'm going to do the same thing to the inlet pipe over by the main line. 